Hey everyone, it's Sarah here, Aptera's Chief Marketing Officer. I'm back to give you another monthly update from all of us here at Aptera. Today, we have some really positive developments to share. But first, we wanted to recognize everyone who came out to support us during our summer of solar mobility. We had a blast soaking up the sun outside, connecting with our reservation holders and supporters at all of those events. And good news, Team Aptera will be continuing to get out and about with our solar electric vehicles in the hopes of giving more of our community a chance to ride in Aptera. To find out when and where we'll be, you can subscribe to receive text messages from our team. Text SOLAR to the number below to get notified. And now that we've wrapped up our busy summer, we're happy to let you know that we'll be resuming our monthly video updates. We know that some of you have been following our progress for years now, and we wanna thank you for your support and your patience. We're honored that you're along for the ride, and we take pride in our job of keeping you informed and up to date. Expect to see and hear more of Team Aptera. Now let's get to the good part. Our dedicated team has been hard at work in Italy, deepening our relationship with CBC Group. And we're thrilled to share that over 60% of the essential equipment and tools used in the process of making Aptera's body in carbon have been completed and commissioned. Take a second to nerd out with me on solar vehicle manufacturing and find out exactly what I'm talking about. The stamping dies and post-process tooling you see here are used in the process of forming carbon fiber SMC, the lightweight and ultra-strong material often used in supercars, into Aptera's body parts. The stamping dies are specialized tools made of hardened steel designed to press carbon fiber SMC with up to 5,000 tons of force into precise forms for our body panels. The post-process tooling refers to the additional equipment used after the initial pressing to refine and complete parts for their intended use in our solar EVs. These tools are currently in action, pressing the parts for our production intent builds, or as we like to call them around here, PI builds. Our first builds will be progress builds as we add more and more of the production intent items. This allows us to ramp up to full PI builds. PI builds are the vehicles that our team will use for further testing and validation of many parts and systems over the coming months, including suspension, brakes, airbags, thermal, and more. The first stage in making our PI builds is creating the body in carbon, or the bink. This consists of the six main parts for Aptera's body, which is in progress now. Then, a coordinate measuring machine is used to inspect and validate these parts for thickness and surface tolerance, also currently happening. Finally, we'll bond them together to form the full bink and validate the full structure again. But this time, we're looking for tolerance of the body closures. What's cool is that these body parts you're looking at now have already gone through a thorough validation process. In fact, those green stickers you see mean they've passed the test and can be used to make our PI builds. Let's check in with Chris and Steve in Italy for a behind the scenes look. Hey, I'm Chris. I'm Steve. We're here with the amazing team at CBC, looking at this wonderful 5,000 ton press and we're just producing the parts for your app chair. We had a chance to look at some of the first parts up close in the light tunnel. I'll show you nice pictures of them, but it's amazing to see groups of work come to fruition. And these aren't just pre-production parts or prototype parts or validation parts. These are the parts that we can put on the shelf to the door at Terra. They've already gone through a dimensional validation process here at CPC, so all of that's been sorted out. It's amazing to see these parts come off the press. This is actually the two dies that produce our hood parts, and they're still warm, even though they were producing parts yesterday. They've just come off the machine and it's cooling off. I'm gonna show you one of the other pieces. This is actually the roof structure for the Aptera. This is the lower die set, and that's the upper die set, and these are the molds that actually come together to stamp out the roof of your Aptera. We can't wait to share more about these production intent builds and what's to come in our validation phase. You can learn more about our PI builds and how they'll be tested and validated in our latest blog post. And that's not all that's happening to drive solar mobility forward. Right here at our headquarters and final assembly location, we're making the solar panels and batteries for our PI builds, two critical components of every solar electric vehicle. Hey guys. The team is preparing the lines and sourcing equipment for solar and battery manufacturing, which will take place here in San Diego, California. As you can see, more and more parts and components for your Aptera vehicles are arriving every day. When we launched Aptera as a solar mobility company, all we had was a dream and the will to do what others deemed impossible. 
But today, everything is different. We've built a strong team, designed a vehicle with majority of parts source, we've invented automotive grade curved solar panels, commissioned production tooling for Avteras Bink, and begun validating our solar EV. We're closer than ever to delivering solar powered transportation to the world, and believe me, it is incredible to watch this all unfold. Solar mobility is really starting to happen, but it wouldn't be possible without all of you, our movement. Thank you for being a part of it. This unstoppable force that's fueled by our accelerators, our industry partners, ambassadors, shareholders, and the Aptera community at large. Together, we're changing transportation for good, and we're building a future where every journey is fully powered by the sun.